Welcome back, you guys, to the This Life yeah. Podcast. <laughs> we had to redo the intro because obviously uh, our person that was going to host, Danny, didn't think my intro yeah. was good enough I for done the last it episode. I would have done it better. If you made it to the, this last episode, congratulations. You are one of our 20 supporters. Much Not respect even. to like you guys. 53. The last episode so, got like 20 something. Oh, no, really? It, it varies. It varies yeah. who we have on and stuff <laughs> like that. But honestly, it's been a it's, it's been a pretty good ride. Like it's it's been pretty fun with all the guests and stuff. Honestly, I feel like we have grown a little bit. Mm, Gio not Gio, much. Nah, Gio no, never no. grows. <laughs> Gio started growing in elementary school. <laughs> <laughs> it is middle school. Huh? It was middle school. I don't know, man. You. I know. I remember you being taller that, than you. Okay. I remember you being that tall in fifth grade, dog. <laughs> <laughs> you see, you see, everybody knows you as the short guy. Huggable, huggable, Gio. Huggable, fuckable Gio. Huggable, fuckable. But honestly, thank you guys so much for all the support you give us, and I hope you guys can stick around for next season because next season we're gonna come back a little bit different. Uh, we're always trying to change every season. And we're gonna come back a little different. Uh, hopefully, you guys like it. I don't want to like give away too too much. Kind of want to keep it like a surprise, like yeah. we did secret. Yeah, season three, how we just bring on two new people. We're and making porn. <laughs> <laughs> Next Podcast season is gonna be easy to say. OnlyFans, <laughs> OnlyFans, Pornhub. Yeah, look look out for our Patreon. Uh, dude, I've been I've been advertising our Patreon. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I know. We don't have one. <laughs> but if you want to make a Patreon with us, leave your info in the comments. Oh, but yeah. before we start <laughs> off with Geo's, uh, Geo's, uh, did you know? So you know how it's cutting season, guys, right? Yeah. yeah. Yep. All right. Here's here's a crazy ass workout, right? Uh-huh. You're gonna go two, uh, two ten pounders, get okay. up, get on the treadmill. Pop in a piece of gum, and and this has to be like on a full stomach. Go twelve incline, three pace. You're gonna do two miles, and then while you're doing that, you're gonna recite the times tables. What the fuck? Why? Why, Why do all that? It's a whole body workout. Even, from, from even your mind, your mind, your stomach, your asshole, <laughs> your mouth, <laughs> everything, bro. Your brain recite. Wait, what did you say to recite? The, the times tables. Oh my. That's different. That's, that's crazy that's, workout. He has multiple years. <laughs> yeah, <man. laughs> Damn, the hardest. What's going to hurt the most yeah. is my brain. <laughs> what is a time table? <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> well, we're going to keep on. <laughs> we're going to finish off uh, this season with the best did you know ever. Because yeah. Gio brought his A game today. Actually, it wasn't even me. It's yeah. uh, it's open I'm taking today. over. Better yet, that's how you oh. know it's gonna be good because I'm taking over. <laughs> 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 okay. Okay. Better yet, dude. All right. Um. So today's did you know it's gonna be a little bit long. It's kind of a story. Okay. So. Okay. Oh fuck. We my, beat. my ADHD doesn't like stories. <laughs> and um, it's gonna kind of segue into our topic today a little bit. Okay. So, um, we begin with this story. This lady named Joan Murray. Hmm. Okay. Is it heard of her? Probably not. No idea. Um, so she, I think she was like a airline pilot or whatever. Airline, like like the, the, the like people that put the stewardess. Stewardess, yeah. yeah. Stewardess. I don't know, Flight but attendee? she like she loved like doing stuff like that, and she got <laughs> into skydiving. Okay. Mm-hmm. And so. <gasps> Is, no, I don't know. <laughs> so <laughs> she got into skydiving and um she started like training to solo skydive. Okay. Um yeah, so she was training to do that and she uh did 35 solo skydives by herself. Gotcha. Like perfectly Damn. fine. Okay. Like went up like a skydive and then you know they did s- it again 35 times. <laughs> you you know they say 50% of the people don't even make it to the ground. No really? <laughs> what the hell? That's a that's a lot. I don't know, man. <laughs> These are facts. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he doesn't fact. He doesn't fact. Okay, <laughs> n- none of y'all got the reference. Obviously, that's not the case. Everybody has to make it to the ground, right? <laughs> oh my gosh! Shut up! No, you it's, it's tricky, okay. Josh. You uncultured swine. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so thirty-sixth time, her thirty-sixth time, she went up again. 
So when you skydive, you go up to 14,500 feet. Okay. So that's like... That's my speed for her. That's 14,499 yeah. more feet than Geo. <laughs> <laughs> Facts. So she's skydiving, and I don't know what happens. I think her, like, parachute didn't deploy right. Something happened, right? And she's plummeting towards the, or- towards the earth. Mm-hmm. And... She free falls at a velocity of 120 miles per hour. Shit. So that's like an wow. average day for me on the highway. <laughs> <laughs> and um, yeah, so she just smacks the earth. <laughs> and um, yeah, so like her whole body like shatters basically. Oh, yeah. Okay. You would expect her to be dead at that point, right? Yeah. She survived. So. Um, <laughs> Yeah, so they take her to the hospital, and uh, her, like, body is, like, destroyed, basically. Mm -hmm. And so it took her an hour from where she, like, splatted (laughs) to the (laughs) hospital. It took her an hour. And um, surprisingly, when she got to the hospital, she was still alive. But there was a reason for that. When she smacked the earth... Mm -hmm. She happened to land on a fire ant's nest. Oh. And um <laughs> when she like when she landed on the nest, the wait, the did I say spider or did I say ants? You said ants. ants. Okay. Fire ants, yeah, they like bit her and stuff. They caught her? And the the <laughs> venom in their uh what's it called? Blood in their in fangs. their yeah, in their fangs. Um made her respiratory system react and shot adrenaline into her because that's how your body oh, re- reacts to poison. Uh-huh. Okay, but the fall didn't make her adrenaline react? <laughs> no, because she just like <laughs> smacked. <laughs> There's no adrenaline just like that. In that. Yeah, yeah, but that's how she survived is through the poison of the fire ants. Yeah, so. What the? I did hear about this. She has a record for like the longest like like free, free fall, fall without like any like without assistance, death. right? And oh. without dying, <laughs> <laughs> obviously so. she holds that record. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, I mean, cool. nobody else has gone and survived that. Yeah. <laughs> oh, let me try breaking the record. But I don't know. I, it still seems conflicting. Like you would feel like she'd still die from like, impact. Yeah. yeah, like you would think that her like skull would how, be smashed. How, how did her... she land? I don't know. She just, just fly. Just fly. I'm not sure. I feel like that has something to do with it too. Like either landing flat or on your feet. That's or on her I've ass. Heard, I've heard stories that like some people that fall like a great amount of distance, if their body is limp, they are more likely to survive. Oh yeah, mm-hmm. that that's the same. It's like jelly. With, like, drunk drive. Yeah. It's the same thing with drunk drivers. They always like they come unharmed because yeah. they're just limp. Like their yeah. body's like yeah. not reacting, and they're limp, and that's why like the other person like sadly you know they usually end up either like really hurt or killed. Yeah. And the drunk driver always walks away with just a few scratches. Yeah, because like their body's limp apparently, and because thing it, like things aren't tight. Yeah, you know, just kind of like blood. Ah, uh, that's weird. That's yeah, weird. I don't know. But what did you know that? Yeah. I did Gio? not. Know that she I did not because of the fire ants that bit her. Did you know that? That's crazy, dog. <laughs> that's wild. She's Dude, a champ. What the hell? <laughs> She's a champ. <laughs> She's <laughs> a <ride again laughs> did, did she die of com- complications later on? Mm, she's no, alive? she's still alive. What the yeah. heck? Can she walk? Yeah, I don't uh, know. I don't, That's so. <laughs> I don't know her personally, so uh, <laughs> I'm not sure. <laughs> uh, what's her name? Uh, hold on. Uh, he said I said her at the beginning, at but the beginning. I forgot. I feel like you said Mary Jones. Mary Jones? I don't think it was that. No, I don't think so either. I think it was... JJ Johnson? No. You guys are all wrong. I said it like. Magic Johnson? (laughs) Uh, 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 Hold on. Give me a second. Oh my god. Uh, Hold on a second. Joan Murray. Joan Murray. Joan Joan. Joan. Joan Murray. Yeah. Yep. Joan Murray, if you're watching this, <laughs> we stand for you even though you can't. <laughs> <laughs> oh Maybe no, you can, but I don't know. Man. Maybe you can, but we stand for you. Yeah, so when are we going skydiving? <laughs> oh, <laughs> fuck that, yeah, dude. Oh, hell no. no. <laughs> Welcome back, guys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just do all the sections. <laughs> um, yeah, so as you guys heard, 
Uh, we're going skydiving next week. <laughs> no, uh, just kidding. Uh-uh. Um, but the whole no. skydiving <laughs> thing, uh, it kind of segues into our topic. Um, and this week's topic is about fear, specifically fear of dying. Uh. Why you look at me like that, Gio? Uh. <laughs> Why you look at me like that, huh? Don't continue. Go ahead. So, uh. Let's begin with. Are you afraid of dying? And why? We'll start with we'll start with Gio because okay. he looked at me weird. <laughs> <laughs> I I am afraid of dying at, at dying at this age because I haven't really lived. lived. I'm uh-huh. only twenty one. You know what I mean? I have a lot of things to do in life. Yeah. And I feel like if you were to die at a young age, it's like you get robbed of that time that you could have had to make memories, to and make new connections, do whatever the hell you want to do in life. Mm-hmm. What are you doing? I don't know. Oh, my bad. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Starts <laughs> licking his elbow over there. <laughs> no, but like, I if I was like older, maybe I'm like 50 or 60, I'd be like, I, I feel like the fear of dying itself starts going away. Yeah. Because okay. you've lived your life. Okay. You know what I mean? Yeah, I get what you mean. Okay. What about you, Danny? I'm ready to die. Oh. <laughs> I knew okay. it. I knew it. <laughs> Life drains from his yeah. face. Uh, oh, no more twinkle in his eye. <laughs> no, I don't think I'm afraid to die. I'm afraid of how I would die, though. Mm. Mm. Yeah, like not in a gruesome way. Yeah, like like, like if you were to how, die fast right now, you'd be okay. With yeah, how, like how do you want to die? Like a gunshot to the head or like uh. impact on the car crash. Like, I'm, yeah, like I'm saying instant, car crash, yeah. dog. Like, but that's what I say, but, instant, too. But even then, know. like, I don't want to, like, be one of those people that, like, gets in the ICU and survives for, like, a week and then mm. dies from injuries. Like, you know, like bro, I want to die on impact. Like, <laughs> Just yeah. make sure you <laughs> sign a DNR before. Do not resuscitate? Yeah. Oh. Do yeah, because then still. if they save you, you can sue and get money. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no. So it's a win-win. Yeah, either you, you die, die or, or you, you win money. And yeah. you have money. But either way, if that's the case, if there's enough time to resuscitate me, it's still gonna be a slow, painful death. Yeah. Like, like uh-huh. I, I want to right. die on impact as right soon as there. It happens. Like as soon as somebody steps out to check on me, like I want to be dead. Like. <laughs> Yeah, like, I, this man's cold. Like my eyes better be crossed and my tongue hanging out. <laughs> Dead. <laughs> That's only in the cartoons. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, the equivalents in real life. I want to be cold and pulseless. Yeah. Okay. Okay. What about I, you, Caesar? I feel like I'm low key ready. <laughs> What's <laughs> wow? I'm ready. I'm ready. What <laughs> scares me? I'm not scared of dying. I'm scared of like painfully dying so mm. pretty much what i said too. yeah pretty much what danny <laughs> said like i feel like if i were to just go out instantly right now i'd be okay with it not i wouldn't be too like afraid because i didn't live my life because i mean <laughs> life is I feel bullshit like, uh, yeah i'm i'm trying to live my life as best as i can now if i happen to die, die so it happens <laughs> yeah and um i feel like that fear of death just holds people back from a lot of shit i don't know it's it's mad weird i'm actually afraid of growing old Oh my god, me too. I don't want to get past like the age 30. <laughs> <laughs> you got 10 years, bro. You live your life. 10 years. Yeah. <laughs> no, but realistically, I don't want to hit like age 60. Yeah. Uh, like at that point, yeah. I just don't want to. Like, I feel like it's too many health complications. I just, like, health comp. Like, you feel like. But what if you were healthy? I feel like. Uh, I feel like I won't be. <laughs> I'm, 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 I struggle like, now, you know? <laughs> I struggle yeah, I now. I predict that I'm being alcoholic <laughs> and <Yeah>. unhealthy. <laughs> I, I, have, I have early stages of Alzheimer's now, dude. You know? like, <laughs> he can't dream. What more does he have to look forward to? You're right. You're right. <laughs> yeah. You? yeah, I think I'm in the same boat as you guys that, like, I'm not afraid of death. I'm just afraid of a painful death. Yeah. Yeah, because... Like the the other day, I was th- I was thinking about it because I was showering at home alone, and I don't Damn. know where was the invite. <laughs> my bad, sick bro. You're, just, you're supposed to just pull up to my yeah, house dog. Home, <laughs> like always. <laughs> uh, I was just showering, and I think I was listening to a true crime podcast <laughs> or yeah. a YouTube or a Facebook video, and it was like someone walked in their house and they just saw like their sister's lifeless body on the ground. And I was like, what if I would have gotten out the shower and someone, like, I saw a lifeless body? Mentally, would I be like, 
damn. But my body, because like my body's trying mm. to react, would it like start shaking, and then like completely be freaked out? Because the mind and the body communicate differently, right? I could mm-hmm. be shaking and stuff like that. Um, or you could feel feel cold, but not really be cold. Okay. Yeah. 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 Makes sense. <clears throat> or like, would my mind be like, damn, someone like dead body right there? What the hell? Someone's out to kill me. But my body would be shaken. That's what I'm like. Damn. I'm trying to test to see what <laughs> what happened. Yeah. What the fuck? I, actually, actually, hold up. Can I can I just tweak my my answer real quick? Mm-hmm. Sure. Maybe I don't want to die <laughs> right right away. <laughs> like, give me like like ten minutes <laughs> <laughs> to do what? <laughs> yeah, for what? <laughs> no, 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 no. Like, I mean, like if something happens to me, like ten minutes between, like after I die, like yeah, like how I said I wanted to die on impact, like right in that moment. Yeah. Like mm-hmm. no, like like I want to die like. Very, very soon after, like, like 10 minutes after. Yeah. Because, like, because I hear, like, your brain releases, like, DMT. Mm-hmm. And I... <laughs> just want to travel for a little bit. <laughs> I, I just want to know, I just want to know, because I can't imagine shit, so I just want to know, like, uh, if you would if I hit that, that, D, that DMT that's about to kill me, am I seeing Jesus? Like, <laughs> like what's going to happen? You know, you like, can take DMT without that, yeah. right? No, I know, but that's scary, because... <laughs> <laughs> if, if I'm already dying, I won't have to deal with anything I do see during that time period. Like, I mean, if you, if and DMT is expensive, dog. It's like hundred dollars, like that yeah, much. Like allegedly, uh, no, allegedly. <laughs> not that Danny knows. Not that I know. <laughs> it's, it's expensive. It's exp- no, yeah, but I can. I mean, it can go one of two ways. You take it and then you OD, or <laughs> you're on the verge of death and then you take it, or your body like releases well, all it, it takes is one little drop to to trigger it, like to get a good trip. From what I've heard. <laughs> allegedly. 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 From what is heard. <laughs> Alright, so my first kind of like, I don't know, like point to touch on is, uh, so when you have kids, let's Fuck say, kids. or like, let's say, <laughs> kids. let's say not even kids, like someone you love. Okay. That, so fear at that point is kind of subjective. Like, let's say you had kids and you... I don't know, went on vacation okay. and you went like shark diving. This is an example I saw. Like you okay. went shark diving. If so, since you're with your kids, you're like, my point is to protect them without fear of death. Yes. Yeah. And like that's, you know, your role is to protect them. And like if you happen to die, it doesn't matter because you were protecting them. Mm-hmm. But if you were to go into that same situation alone, You'd be scared because at that point it's just you dying. Yeah, yeah. Yes. So you yeah. died alone. So, what at that point? Why is fear like subjective? Um, I was like I was gonna bring up the. It's not a fact. The theory that or the idea that your your mind is completely rewired when you have a kid, right? Rewired to be mm. protective. But then again, there's a lot of people out there with no fathers. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So like <laughs> even damn. so like even when you do have a kid, people don't care, right? It's all depending on morals and ethics. Yeah, I was gonna say because uh even like we don't even have to put like kids into this. Like let's say you have a significant other, like okay. like for Gio, whatever. I, I feel like, like let's say he was in a situation. I let him die. <laughs> <laughs> like let's say <laughs> like let's say Gio was in a situation where he was with Alicia. Okay. I'd hope that his re- like instinct is to protect her without fear of death at that point. I think Alicia it's not even <laughs> 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 But I'm saying it's like not kids, it's not it's just like it's could be a loved one. Yeah. yeah. But I feel I feel like already in my mind it's like I feel like it's just like that hero card. It's like like well, one of them's gotta die, like you know, then, you it, it, then, then it's okay if, if one of us is going to have to, then it's okay it being me. Like, you know, oh, okay. I feel I feel like, you know, your fear loses because you're not thinking like, oh, my God, I'm going to die. It's like, oh, my God, I'm saving a life. Like, yeah. uh, OK, at that point. Yeah, it's it like, overcomes it. OK, your morals and your ethics kind of overcome this fear of death. I feel like like it's not it's something that I mean, is obviously going to happen. I feel like. What? Oh, who the fuck is reading on the mic? 
Oh my god, Ben. <laughs> <laughs> Just sniffing the mic. <laughs> like, dying a hero, would that be something that kind of pushed <clears throat> you to die sooner? Or... Not die sooner, but I'd say accept Risk. death. Do you, do you think Risk that a lot of more. people actually become a hero in those kind of uh, scenarios because they kind of want to die? <laughs> so it's kind of like an no. easier... You, you, it's kind of like an easier out than committing suicide. I'm saying, so, yeah, so people like, become more accepting of death in those moments because of the whole hero role. Okay. But I don't think you don't people want to die. Yeah, you don't take it on as being like, all right, I want to die, so I'm going to become a firefighter. And I'm going to run straight into the fire because yeah. I want to die. Okay. <laughs> no. Okay. <laughs> this no. is what I dream for. Right? <laughs> people people that, that take on those jobs accept that fact that they are going to have to risk yeah. their life. Right? And there's even people that do meet that kind of death right in the face. And they are scared out of their lives. But they know if they survive, they'll be happy. Because one, they survived. And two, they're... A hero. Three. It's a great story. Yeah, it doesn't matter. I mean, I guess. <laughs> yeah. I've heard better stories. So. <laughs> I've heard better stories. Yeah. The Catcher in the Rye. Good story. <laughs> <laughs> um, but then there's people like if you die, you die a hero, right? So like, I mean, those people kind of have to accept the fact that, all right, cool. I am a. I'm gonna strap a gun to my hip, put a badge on. And I might risk death, but I'm going to do it for this and this person. Yeah, it'll be for a greater cause. Do you think, like, the this greater cause or love or whatever overcomes? I mean, we just talked about it. Are you, you good? If you if you oh eat into the mic, I swear to God. <laughs> oh, my, but, oh, yeah, my God. <laughs> Leave. <laughs> <laughs> Like, you think, I mean, we were just talking about it. The love for someone overcomes the fear. But how strong does that go? Mm, that's true. I don't know. I feel like that's dependent on each on situation. Each person, on each situation. Yeah. So, would you say you're a fight or flight person, Gio? <laughs> uh, d- well, it depends on the scenario. If it's like... Danny, I swear to God, dude. <laughs> It was like a Turn his mic off. Who <laughs> left <laughs> these chips here? My brother, probably. Not even your chips. You just grabbed them. <laughs> I would say it, it depends on the scenario. Because if it was like I'm just gonna like get a scratch or I'm gonna start bleeding, that's fine. Like I think I'm gonna. I, Why would that trigger your fight or no, fight? No, yeah, <laughs> no, no, like, no, like, like death in your face, fight yeah. or flight. I think I would fight. And honestly, God, and then see that. I have a different opinion on that, but <laughs> continue. <laughs> no, it's because he. Okay, whatever. I'm not no, going to okay, get into that. Fight, why? You think you would fight? Yeah, you yes, think I would. think I would. Okay. Because of? I'm telling you, it depends. Like, what the hell's going on? Oh, okay. I don't think it, like, depends. I think that a person either has a fight or Yeah, a fight. I think it's just instinct at that point. Because, like,. That those hormones kind of just kick in, like, and you just like do shit out of whatever. Like, let's say, okay, let's say, um, someone has a knife, okay, and they're trying to rob you. Would you run towards them and try to take the knife, or run away from them? Or run away from them? I'm biting ankles. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, you're gonna get low and <laughs> just, yeah, like, dude, your back, leave your exposed. back open <laughs> yeah, just like, to bite ankles. I, I'm, I'm gonna do like, I'm gonna do like, like. A reverse drop kick. I'm like running at him and then diving face first. Just no, straight, into my <laughs> straight into the knife. <laughs> they See, do the whole thing like this. <laughs> <laughs> straight into the knife. <laughs> yeah. See, Neck first. I just overthink things like this because and then because then I think about what's the setting, what but chance do I have? But that's the thing when it when it's like going that. on, you're not gonna think like yeah. that. Yeah, I know, but it's I've never like, been put in that. Let me this real quick. <laughs> I, I feel like I feel like if you oh, do man. think about it, though, you're more likely to react in that way that you want to. You know. Exactly, so that's why we're yeah, saying... Yeah, fight or flight kicks fight in. Or flight. I feel like it depends, because if it was a bear, I'd definitely run. If, okay. it, if, it was, if, if there was an active shooter yeah, in the building, I, I would like to think I could fight. But <laughs> <laughs> tell, me, tell me why every male has had this that scenario. Thought of, that thought of, like, taking like down a shooter. Down shooter. 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 <laughs> yeah. Like, the, oh, my, he's going to come in. You're like, I'm exactly gonna, what you're going to do. I'm going to fucking put my arm like this, pump it up, crack his arm. <laughs> like, <laughs> 
Every every guy has had that scenario. You can ask any dude, and they'll give you the step by step situation they would put themselves in if there's a school shooter. Save the school or whatever. I, I swear to you, ask any guy. Yeah. 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 So so that's what I was like. Like when in a situation like that, I would like to think that I would try to fight. But if, okay, I, but but if, if I was against the bear, like I'm definitely a, fucking running. If it's, like, a bear, not... if it's a bear and I think bear your is, mother it's... is like closer to the bear, getting ready to be attacked by it, would you go and try to tackle the bear to save her time, or you would you run and yeah. try to outrun your mom? Uh, Hell no, that's so okay, mom. so so okay, yeah, okay so, exactly. Someone someone famous once said, um, "Eminem." I don't know if you guys know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, mama. <laughs> <laughs> It's I do recall. <laughs> it's because Eminem had a shit mother. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I think if it was for my mom, then yeah, I think that whole heroic mindset jumps in. Yeah. And then, oh my god, he's gonna start barking. If he starts barking, I swear. Oh my god, this messed up the whole audio. <laughs> okay. okay. No, he's chilling. Right, continue. He's calm. He's calm. Like if it was that like heroic mindset, like I think I would like. Would try to do something with the bear. I, don't, I try to do some stupid shit because, like, I know they're faster than us. So even if I do yeah. try to run, I'm still probably fucked. But yeah, like, I feel like I would try to get it to chase after me at least, so my mom could get away. Uh, mm-hmm. Yeah. And then, like, once it starts catching up on me, do like that one cheesy ass shit where you would like just drop to the ground and hope the bear <laughs> trips and falls. <laughs> and then, <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. this guy's living in fucking fairy tale land over here. <laughs> no, that's what I'm saying. I don't know. I don't. The bear that runs on Looney Tunes, dude. Yeah, <laughs> that's what I'm saying. I mean, if we are both going like, like full pace, bears you know, catching up to you, dog. Yeah, no, exactly. So, <laughs> how, however long it'll take for it to catch up to me, and at that point, and then I'll just drop, drop to the ground as soon as it gets to me. Hopefully, it just trips over my body, and <laughs> yeah, we'll just stop and be like, "Is this guy an idiot?" <laughs> <laughs> well, that, that, that's what I'm saying. It has to be like, away. it has to be like right when he's catching up to me, because he's I'm, running on all fours. Yeah, yeah, but he can't stop on a dime. But he, uh, but he's not gonna trip. His center of he gravity might, is, <laughs> or he might step on me and break my ribs, <laughs> and, and then you're done for. Exactly. Yeah, but what else would you do in that situation? But like, I mean, the, you're the not second, outpacing it. Okay, the second you do commit that heroic act, and then you're running, at that point, when okay, the adrenaline's probably still going, like kicking through you. But at that point, you're like, okay, I'm gonna probably die here. And do mm-hmm. you accept it? Okay. Yeah. That's no, not, like, I'm heroic. accepting it. Yeah, like that. That whole, that whole last minute trying to drop and trip the bear is just like desperation. Right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But you're gambling on the 10 percent chance you might live. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's well, not like, really what? a gambling because I'm dying regardless. Like that just increases my odds by maybe like 0.2 yeah, percent. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So on to my second thing. So we talked about how heroism is a way to. Combat death in a way, or fear of death. Yeah. But another way to combat it is hope. And there's... um. Oh, hope to live? Yeah, there's hope to live. And there's a study done. Did my research. With the mice. Oh. Yeah. With the mice. <laughs> so in the 1950s, this guy named Dr. Kurt Richer um, did an experiment on some mice. And he some put them... Mice. Mice, plural. And some, mice. some mice. Several mice. mices. It's mices, bro. <laughs> oh, yeah? Then why are moose mice? Oh, they're not. <laughs> yeah, they're not. <laughs> multiple <laughs> mices, bro. So why, why are goose geese? <laughs> no, that's multiple gooses. Yeah. <laughs> it's a flock Gooses-es. of geese. Oh, it's a right. murder. Geese. Exactly. It's geese. geese. Right. <laughs> so why? Okay. So geese. this doctor in the 1950s did an experiment on some rats. And he put them in a, a pail of water. And watch them drown. <laughs> okay. Okay. So the first batch, you just watch them drown. They uh they survived are. about two minutes, right? Okay, until they died. Okay. Yeah, until they drowned. And then he did a second batch, and he put them in there, and he was like, okay, they're going to last about two minutes. And right before that, like, moment of death, he pulled them out. And, like, uh, resuscitated. Yeah, like, resuscita- resuscitated them and, like, let them sit on the side for a little bit to like recover. Uh, yeah, like recover, calm back down, whatever. And then he put him back in the water. Jesus, that's just torture, bro. <laughs> and then he put him back in the water. And the second time around, they lasted significantly longer. Like guess, 10 guess, minutes. guess. Oh. Oh. Because of that. It was 30, wasn't it? Uh, I don't know. I remember like, reading It was 30. significantly longer, though. 30. 30 like, minutes. Like from two wow. minutes to like 30 minutes. That's crazy. Because of that little <clears throat> glimpse of hope that they that had the second time around. To pull him out. 
yeah. we did it like multiple times before like it was yeah. i don't think it was the second time around i think like the third time he would like pull them out in the like the last minute and then eventually he would just he just left them and then the mice were just hopeful because they like oh well, yeah. i've been in this situation and i know someone's gonna save me yeah, yeah. i mean so it, it would just like fight so it wasn't that just moment. like once that he did it no, but like yeah, it was several, it was several times. times yeah yeah but that glimpse of hope gives you reason to fight I feel like there's a lot more of those stories than the kind of, oh, well, I guess there's a lot of fight or flight, but the the glimpse of hope things have been more notable, like people that have survived plane crashes or like boat crashes or stuff like that, right? They, for some reason, <laughs> a few years ago in swim class in high school, they couldn't tread water for more than five minutes. But now when their life's on the line mm, and they're hoping a helicopter yeah. or someone comes by and like, they last days. They last yeah. yeah a long time. Okay. Yeah. How do you think like a lot of people not a lot of people, they all died. But uh, <laughs> a decent amount of people survived like the Titanic. That's what I was thinking about. Because right? I think I saw like a a timestamp of like everything happened. I think people were treading water for three hours, I think. But you gotta remember the Pacific Ocean is ice cold. Yeah, I was gonna say that like they crashed into a iceberg. iceberg. It had to be cold. I know, like if the iceberg is still there and it not melted, it's way below. Yeah, freezing. it's way below. So freezing. you're telling me Jack didn't tread water? Who can tread water? Jack, Jack, Jack. couldn't tread water. Nah, he was a no, he, she she fucking that stupid bitch should have scooted over. There was enough fucking. <laughs> there was enough there was space enough room on, on that, that plane. Door, bro. <laughs> God, I swear. Guys, come on, let, let me let me clear up the myth behind. She shouldn't have lived. No, <laughs> no. Let me clear up the myth behind this. <laughs> okay. okay. The the thing that they were on, I don't know what it actually it was. A door, was. It was a door. door. Yeah. I think they did try to have both of them, but I think like with the weight of both of them, they started to sink. Mm, okay. Uh, they could have taken turns. <laughs> equal rights. <laughs> equal rights. <laughs> equal rights. <laughs> so, but I, th- I think that's the misconception. Is that yeah, it was like sort of a, like a big piece. But I think like with both of them on it, I think it, they started to sink it. Yeah. Correct me if I'm wrong, though. I am not a scientist. I haven't took chemistry in years. <laughs> Isn't cold water more dense than hot water, though? No, no I think it's hot water. Hot water rises. Hot air rises. Yeah. Same with hot water. Maybe. Isn't that how lava lamps work? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, that, that's how lava lamps work. Like, La- like the, the lava, because like the the at the very bottom there's a light. That's not water. So though. The, that's wax. Doesn't matter, but I'm pretty sure it's the same effect. Like, no, no, it's not. It's different chemicals. No, it's different chemicals. It's denser, so you're it, denser. Like, <laughs> <laughs> you're dancing the brain, dude. <laughs> no, because it's a different chemical, it rises. Are you sure that, like oil, oil rises to the top because it's less dense than water. Right? Yes. yes. No, yes. It's the opposite. No, well, the water sits on top. Of oil? Yeah. Of oil. Because oil is more dense. Nah. Oh, yeah. So the oil that's spilled in the ocean just sinks to the bottom. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. What? Yeah. I was going to say. Then we wouldn't have oil spills. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> they just sink. <laughs> they just sink, and then the whole ocean would be contaminated. Yeah, no. Oil floats. But I'm not a scientist. Anyways, yeah, I don't know. But mm. if, if the cold water is more dense, then it'd be able to hold it, uh, hold them. Either way, they both should have lived. Salt water <laughs> is more dense. Yeah, that is true. And they were in salt water. Oh, fake ass bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Did you say shit? All for a diamond. <laughs> God damn it. Uh,. Oh yeah, but like hope. yeah. Um, hope. <laughs> oh yeah. Hope. <laughs> Fuck that hope. bitch. Oh yeah. Hope. <laughs> but yeah, because they had hope that someone would have came around, or like they contacted someone when they crashed to come and help them. They had hope, and they tread like water and survive. But a lot of people did die from like drowning and just freezing to death. Yeah. So maybe yeah, maybe that's why people that are ready to die just tend to die because like. They've I feel just like accepted I feel like it. I, yeah, I feel like I'm hopeless. I'm like, well, this is what I've been wanting, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, like, let, okay, let's say you, you do, you're on a yacht, right? Let's say Danny in five years is rich and he's on a oops, yacht oops, in the middle oops. of the ocean and they crash. But you were able to get help, but they said they don't know when they're going to be there. How long would you, because you said you're ready to die, would you just let it happen? I'm holding my breath. To die? <laughs> yep. I feel like that's suicide. <laughs> yeah, just <laughs> drown. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, because I feel like that would suck. Like, feeling your, your like, lungs fill up with water. Fill up with and water. 
So I would just like hold my breath and hopefully make myself pass out so I'm just asleep while I'm dying. Ah, uh, gotcha. Okay. See, big, big, big moves. <laughs> oh, yeah. Big moves. <laughs> so you. Death, you, big move. <laughs> <laughs> you got big plans coming up. <laughs> so people that are more accepting and like, or would you say like don't care? Just accept death sooner? Um, I don't know. I don't think so. Like I people that so. care less about everything. No, not everything, but care less about their lives. But that. No, because I think like even the people that say like, oh, I wish I was dead or whatever. Still fight. Like yeah. if if you threw them into the ocean, I feel like they'd still fight. Yeah. Like you don't know until you're put into that situation. Exactly. That's why we're saying you might you, think you're you, a fighter. But, but I think you're running, dog. <laughs> <laughs> I'm talking to Gio. <laughs> oh, yeah, no, I'm talking to Gio. <laughs> I was like, no, no. We won't well, know until we... Let's test this theory. All right, we'll test it. Let's leave your put a gun to open. Gio's head. <laughs> <laughs> leave your door open tonight. And Gio, I'll... leave your location on. One of these days, we're going to pull up on your ass. <laughs> with Alicia. You, yeah. And then we're going to take Alicia. No, 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 no. We're nah. just going to come up in ski mask. We're going to fucking kidnap your ass. And yeah. we... It's got to be like an experiment. We've got to put him in separate scenarios. By himself, <laughs> with someone he loves. Just someone he loves. I don't yeah, know, but first the, the watch the watch the third time he gets kidnapped. It's actually real, and he's just like, "Come on, guys!" Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Not again, guys! Fuck off! It's bullshit. Danny, take off the mask. <laughs> and the dude's actually Danny. He's like, "Bro, what? How do you know my name, dog?" Like, yeah, but first it has to be by himself. Then yeah. it has to be him and Alicia to see if yes. he protects Alicia or not. Okay. And then someone he loves more than Alicia. Yeah. Who do you love more than Alicia? Your parents? My mom. His mom. Okay. All right. Don't touch my mom. We'll try all of them. Yeah, we'll try all of them. We're gonna See, we're gonna like, rob the food truck. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Has that ever happened? What? Where someone like comes up and is like, "Give me all the money." <laughs> no. Uh, okay, it's fucking okay. weird though, because we're in a sketchy part of town too. I was gonna yeah. say, yeah. <laughs> Especially at nighttime. Feel like be now that we've talked about it, though, it probably will happen. Yeah. We just put it into Thanks. the world. Thank put you it, for oh, that. We put it into it existence. Thank you for that. Go. <laughs> Happen. <laughs> what, what's uh, Gio's address? <laughs> <laughs> you, you guys have insurance, right? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Sure. <laughs> that, that would be... We could both win. I could rob y'all. Y'all could claim yeah. insurance. <laughs> <laughs> I take your money. <laughs> you <laughs> claim insurance and get more money. Yeah, it's yeah. a it's win-win, win, dog. It's a win-win. We all win. That's what I'm saying. It's not insurance fraud if you guys are aware I, that I I'm post like, it. <laughs> I post it and then I get sympathy points. People are like, oh, what's wrong with you? And I'm like, oh, I went to go protect him. Yeah, you, you started doing funny. Oh talking about like, guys, you got uh, robbed. Yeah. I mean, you're doubling up. <laughs> <laughs> it's a win for everybody, bro. I everybody guess. wins. <laughs> I think now if it happens, people know. <laughs> and they're just like, this is fake as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> like, they talked about this on the podcast. Yeah. <laughs> If Joe ever gets robbed, like, like for real, for real, like, nobody's going to want to The boy you cried with. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but I think we'll end it here. It's kind of crazy that, like, even in that fear of death, there's still, like, hope and uh, loved ones can still give you a little more Triumph over that more stuff to fight for, I guess. You think you guys will have, like, a, a small bit of comedic relief even in the face of death? Yes, yeah, for yeah. sure. For a minute, yeah. yeah. For sure, yeah, dog. I too. Uh, for a minute, I'm going to be like, you talked all this shit, Danny. Yeah. <laughs> you <laughs> are <laughs> 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 better flight my ass. You're dead. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, I feel like I'd, I'd uh, for sure have comedic relief. More because I, re- I don't remember in what scenario I was. I think it's always like right after you like avoid a really bad car accident and you're like, damn. And then just turn up the music and start going. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah. I th- I was in this like really like really bad car accident when I was younger, like uh-huh. elementary school. Like it was bad. Um and bro, I swear to god, like like I like after it happened, I'm pretty sure like I, I was asking like where my food was. <laughs> really? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, like like my face was bloodied and I'm like, bro, where's my where my chicken nugget? <laughs> I feel like I don't know why, but I feel like I have a faint memory or maybe it's a whole bunch of hullabaloo. That we've been in a like a life or death scenario, and then we just had like a little bit of comedic relief, but it's probably just so, a dream yeah. or something I had because I don't think so. I don't think we've all been in one together. Well, together? we've been in a school shooting, well, school lockdown because there was uh, I'm not counting yeah. that at all, bro. Yeah, My life is not in the, I didn't go to school that day either. 
but yeah, we've already had this conversation. Swagger. Yeah, swagger. Oh, you didn't go to that one either. I, I don't. Think. Oh, I don't know. It's because I can't remember it, bro. Like I said, like, we already had this I conversation. Just have, like, yeah. I have Alzheimer's or something. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I, I need to see it, man. Maybe you can yeah. remember it, man. Oh. Wipe your ass. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Do you guys know one? <laughs> but yeah, there you have it. Yeah, if you're in life or death uh, scenario with us. Either look for hope or look for a loved one. Expect to laugh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like, <laughs> but all right, that was a pretty good. A good last section for this season. Good, but good. Topic. Did my research this time. But there you go. No, all right, guys. Everything was fact checked. See you in the next one. <laughs> <laughs>
1990, in 1990, two years after their disappearance, Michael's body was found in the mountain in the mountains where he was hunting for turkeys. And they never found the girl. The girl. Dang, that's crazy. And no, no, there was like no, no evidence, real no case nothing. to open up, um, like a well, not not enough evidence to open up a case. Uh-huh. No real case, nothing like that. Just led to anything. Dude, that sucks. They never found who it was. Any connections? Like obviously, the two had no connection with yeah, Florida, they were like New completely Mexico. Completely different places. When I read that one, I was like, "Yo, this picture showed up Florida. Two years, no, a year. The that same year that they were both kidnapped. The boy was kidnapped after the girl, Before. and they were both both together in a van. And then two years later, the boys found dead, and the the girl's body's never found. Dang, that's crazy. That I was I was like shook on that one. It's crazy because there's like a bunch of cases that you see kind of like this, like where people are like, it's almost like they got like swallowed by the earth because there's no traces, no nothing. Mm-hmm. They're just gone. That and what amazes me the most is like how what was the last time you guys like went to Walmart. Like the other day, the two yeah. days ago. Have you guys yeah. have you guys seen like the missing? Yeah, the whole board. board? Yeah. yeah. No, I don't look at it. <laughs> it just makes you sad. Yeah. <laughs> I'm no, I I'm afraid to look at it and see my yeah. picture of me. <laughs> 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 to be honest, I, no, I just don't really notice it. Like at all. I feel like they I don't moved. Pay attention. They moved. It used to be by the bathrooms a lot. Now yeah. it's like by customer service. Yeah. Uh, yeah, and I don't really ever walk over. Yeah, to customer service say. or to the bathroom when I'm at Walmart. Kind of like right? hidden now. Yeah, it's kind of like yeah. hidden. But what amazes me is like there's still pictures that are up there, and like sometimes if you read them, there's pictures of and the K uh like when they went missing was like 2006. Yeah. 2010. Yeah. There's sometimes like pictures of um, like if it's a baby that was like stolen in 2001 or whatever, they'll have like renders of like what they could what look they like could nowadays. Look like, yeah. Because it's, like, been so long since they found them. And it's crazy to me how they still have those pictures up. Like, I'm not saying I'll take them down, right? But I'm saying, like, has really nobody done or have just any plans of trying to look into this? Yeah. But then again, like, you can if it's, like, a cold case. Yeah. You you can't do much. At that point, you just hope that somebody just recognizes one of those kids and is like, yo, wait, hold on, I've seen this kid. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and like, or even like Amber Alerts. Why don't they send out an Amber Alert after it and then be like, oh, God, we found them. Thank you so yeah. much. Mm-hmm. Just like open-ended Amber Alerts. Yeah, just open it. <laughs> oh, this person got kidnapped. And then you're just like, did they find them? Is Are they good? Yeah. Like, what, yeah. what's what do you on? want me to do? Like, what look for them? <laughs> <laughs> like, what are you sending this to me for? <laughs> like, well, I, I think they send it to you just because they usually give yeah, you a little bit of like, like information. Out. They'll be like, oh, yeah. Uh, white Nissan Sentra. Yeah. Have you guys seen the? the <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Have you guys seen like the the memes or the vines about it? It's like how how people think we should react. Oh to yeah. It's, it's, it's oh like my God. An Amber Alert. You're he, like, like oh runs God. out. His, his it's like it's right there. And like three <laughs> people are running out. Yeah. Can, can I just say some like crazy story about like the Amber Alert? Well, I guess not so crazy, but like how a- Amber Alerts like became a thing. Uh, how. I uh, might have heard this, but it, it, probably a long time ago. You you might have, but I think it's just really weird because it was like, it was a story about um like how this it was like, like when you know technology started becoming a thing, mm-hmm. uh, and so I'm not quite sure in the time frame, but and like technology, the internet, like things started getting like just broadcasted a lot more, and so you know like it was around the time where it's like people were realizing like how much like this actually happens because the word would just spread quickly. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And, um, so anyways, there's this, like, it was actually named after, like, apparently it was named after, like, this little girl, like, her name was Amber. And they couldn't, like, she got kidnapped and they couldn't find her. And eventually they did find her, her body, but it was, like, in a creek. But they found her a little too late, like, um, it had rained, like, like, the night before they found her. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, everything was just completely, like, washed away. Like, any evidence. Of oh, so, it was just the shit. body. And, like, yeah, like, they had, like, you know, some, like, a few things to work off. Like, maybe how she died. But, like, other than that, no evidence, no it. DNA, no nothing. 
that's anyways it was named after her but the crazy part is apparently that was one of my high school teachers best friend no way Dang. yeah like when they were like little kids what wow yo that's crazy that's like small yeah. world type of thing you know yeah, yeah. That's fucking wild dude Dang. wow well now you know <laughs> did you know Unless she lied or I just misheard the story, but that's how I remember it. Like her telling me, like, like that was she her best knew friend. the person that was her best friend. Yeah, that's and that's cool. like her best friend Amber was was you know the one they named Amber Alerts off of. Nah, she's just mm, confusing dang. Amber's. Just kidding. <laughs> For oh real. <laughs> she she thought her friend was special. <laughs> 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 yeah. right, well, guys, um, we're gonna go ahead and conclude it there. That's the end of our season. Uh, th- once again, thank you so much for everybody who stay stays watching our episodes. Mm-hmm. Um, a lot of people have like reached out to me and they're like, "Hey, I stay supporting you," and like they send me uh, video like screen recordings of them and all the videos have been seen through. Mm-hmm. No. Right? Thank you for. I don't going. get that. I just get randomly added on Snapchat. For real, and like, I'm, I'm just really? like, who is I'll, this? I get the ran- like the random ads. I'll get like. Maybe a person here there that I that I know of that'll be like, oh yeah, I watched this episode. It was uh cool. Dio doesn't talk. We're <laughs> 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 talking more. Uh, okay. Yeah, on the yeah. last episode. <laughs> 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 yeah, but to be honest, yeah, not really much from anyone. But I mean, as long as we don't really do this too much to like make money. We just do this. <laughs> not yet, fun. at least. Yeah, not yet. <laughs> <laughs> so we're big ball, and I don't want any of y'all <laughs> asking me for shit. Because where's the support? Yeah. Like, where, 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 y'all, where, where are y'all now? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Cash at me. <laughs> <laughs> Cash at me. <laughs> but I just want to say thank you so much to everybody that does support. If you made it to the end of the video of this 20th episode, thank you so much for watching. Uh, stick around for next season. We'll see what happens. And hopefully you enjoy it. Hopefully we do grow a little yeah, bit more. Hopefully it's bigger, better. Oh, yeah. Better and a lot more interesting. Let us know if you want to see Dio back here. <laughs> I really fucking hate you. Because <laughs> we're really thinking about just playing a lot. <laughs> no, yeah, guys. But last episode of the season, like, see, if there's feedback, if there's things you want to see or, yeah. like, hear us talk about more, or, like, things you want us to do more, like, feel free to let us know. Yeah, like, we'll, we'll try our best to make things work. You want to help sponsor us and, you know, throw us, like, a quick quick <laughs> fiver because we need more equipment, if you know, so we could uh, do some new things. Yeah. Hopefully, yeah, we get man. there. Hopefully, we, we try to have more guests, more more of you on here that we... <laughs> more of you, less of Gio. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. you, you guys saw Evelyn and Sophie's episode. How was that? <laughs> <laughs> pretty good because yeah, somebody good, was cause missing wasn't here, <laughs> but we had to bring him back uh, thank you because <laughs> uh, apparently he like was one of the persons that started the podcast <laughs> oh my god you kidding me <laughs> <laughs> but thank you so much hopefully we can do a lot more with you guys right make it a lot more not just us sitting down yeah, make and, it more like, interactive talk to you guys more like Interact. We pull up to your house and then we pimp your ride. <laughs> we, <Yeah. laughs> we could do that. That'd be cool. I don't know, but we'd like to interact with you guys more. That'd, that'd be cool. That'd be fun. Yeah, yeah. But thank you guys so much for everything, all you've done, all twenty uh, episodes. And if you're someone that's listened since like season one, which Jesus. is Gio. <laughs> Chief Su- or Chief Su- fuck Supreme Chief <laughs> Supreme Chief. <laughs> nah, he just started watching us. But people like, I don't even know. Like Gio's sister, probably? Kim? Yeah. Well, there's more of you out there. I'm sorry that I'm not, like, shouting you guys out. But you guys know who you are. Much support. And uh, thank you guys so much for everything. See you guys in the next season. See y'all soon. Adios. (laughs) I miss (laughs) y'all.